doing today hope you enjoyed that little musical intro that was from Roy Clark who passed last week he was a true guitar virtuoso he'll certainly be missed he was a heck of a nice guy also anyways today I'm going to talk to you about carotid arteries let's do a little quiz what do you say you know what day it is technical tip Tuesday uh oh guess what day it is Guess what day it is, huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo-hoo! Okay, Julie, Mike, 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 everyone knows what day it is. It's not Tuesday. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. But nonetheless, hope you enjoy today's technical tip. Okay, let's take a couple little video clips here. See, pretty nice view of the bifurcation. Looks like we've got the external on the top, internal on the bottom. We can see some disease there. I'll let you look at those for a minute. Okay, here's a couple of spectrals for you. We have kind of right at the stenosis in the proximal ICA in the upper left, just a little bit further distal, kind of at the exit of the stenosis in the upper right, and a spectrum from the far distal ICA in the lower right-hand side. You got that? What do you think? Yep, easy peasy, less than 50% stenosis. Remember, our cutoff is 125 centimeters per second, has been validated to show us a greater than 50% stenosis, so this is certainly less than 50%. Now we can actually take some measurements off the grayscale image and kind of further break that down a little bit, but again, less than 50%, not hemodynamically significant. How about another one? In the upper left hand side, we see actually a composite image of the right common and internal carotid artery. Upper right spectrum from the distal right common carotid. From the right proximal common in the lower left hand corner. And from a little bit more distal in the right ICA to the lower right. I'll give you a minute to look at those. So what's the percent diameter reduction in the ICA? 0%, less than 50, greater than 50, greater than 80? Don't know for sure. You got to commit. So let's go through these. Here's a pretty nice image of the distal common and right internal carotid artery. They look pretty good. Let's take a spectral analysis from that distal common. Eh, basically looks okay. How about a spectrum from the proximal ICA? Look at that velocity, 109. Well, not too bad. How about the distal ICA? Wow, look at that velocity. What's going on there? Okay, what do you think? Well, let's go through these a little more closely. First, if we look at that spectrum from the right ICA, Note the angle of incination. While the angle is adjusted properly parallel to the walls of the vessel, note it's 78 degrees. That's kind of way too flat. So this is an invalid velocity. This is largely uninterpretable. And here's that distal ICA that I gave you. Note that angle of incidence. Not only is it not parallel to the walls of the vessel, but it's also adjusted at 67 degrees. So again, this is uninterpretable, and that 145 centimeters per second is certainly not valid. 
when I adjust that angle properly in the lower right hand picture parallel to the walls. I'm less than 60 degrees in this case because I'm so far distal I could only get it at 27 but that's acceptable. Note that actually my velocity is more 63 centimeters per second not that 145. So I put this little quiz or exercise in there because in our experience teaching and looking at other laboratories, the number one source of error is the failure to appreciate that proper angle of incidence. Remember, always align it parallel to the walls of the vessel, 60 degrees or less. Okay, how about one more little video clip? This is just off the grayscale and the color Doppler imaging. Well, we can see some plaque along the external. Doesn't really look like there's any flow disturbance. Note that internal. Not only do we not see any plaque within the image, but note that helical flow, that flow separation in that bulbous area in the proximal ICA. That helical flow, that flow separation, is the hallmark of a hemodynamically normal internal carotid artery. When we start getting disease there, we'll lose that flow separation. Just a little hint. And how about one more quiz? Just because anybody that knows me, I'm always thinking hemodynamics. So, two vessels here. Which one is the internal and which one is the external? Right, the one on the bottom is the internal low resistance flow. Look at all that diastolic flow. Whereas the vessel on the top has little or no diastolic flow. High resistance, this is the external. Always think hemodynamics. So I hope you enjoyed today's carotid quiz. Make sure and pay attention to that angle of incination. We thank you for viewing like, subscribe, and you know what to do. If you need any Category 1 CME, visit us at virtualveincenter.com. Let's enjoy a little bit more from Roy Clark. Mm -hmm.